Alright, howdy folks, welcome back to the Taylor Brooks Road of the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5, episode 121. Good start last time out against the White Sox, ended up giving up one, uh, and then bullpen pitched pretty well um, in the last three innings, and we end up closing that thing out and ending a four-game losing streak. So, we've salvaged one against the White Sox, we've been cold as of late, um, gotta get it going again. Get back in the hunt. Um, a good, a good teams up ahead: Dodgers, Astros, Braves, Mets, Chicago. I mean, it doesn't end. Um, so next up is the Houston Astros, uh, who we've seen before. <clears throat> Against the Astros, we have thrown two games, and we're one to zero with a one three eight ERA. It's pretty freaking good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what they've got going over there. They're really good, though. Good team. Christian Javier is a 94. He's disgusting. Kopek is a 90. Dude actually hits the strike zone in this game. Crazy. Luis Garcia is like a Cy Young candidate. Uh, Framber Valdez. This team is built off their insane pitching because they lost a lot of hitting. They lost Bregman <coughs> and Altuve. Um, both to the Brewers, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Nino Bermudez. Jacob Melton, Jordan's still there. Jeremy Pena is still there. He's a 92. I mean, he's really good. He's he's really good. Salvador Perez rakes still in this game. He still rakes, dude. Um, Chaz McCormick, Matt Chapman, Scott Schreiber, and then Pedro Leon. Really good team. Your uh, reigning World Series champion. So let's get out and beat them. Wouldn't want to lose one against the Dodgers. Let's see if we can win the series. Yes, we can, but we lose the opener against the Astros. 12-0. We're wearing the orange today against the orange Astros. We are 40-45. and 45. They're 45-35. and 35. Let's go get a win. From Minute Maid Park in Houston, a great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the Houston Astros. All right, we'll be back to get this. So just about set now, and on the hill in this one, Christian Javier. Well, we put up two early against the Astros ace. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman. We go immediately make a defensive substitution and put Adley out there first. Here's how the defense lines up. Let's do it. Post All Star break. Taylor's getting a change up to his look. Keeping the hair, probably going to change the beard. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Here we go, guys. Try up and in, then we're going to go slider. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Gary Sanchez catching us today. Swing we get the strikeout to start. Slider one down. For a strike three. Taylor is at a 197 ERA. And pushing for a Cy Young. He just needs more wins, man. Second in ERA. Logan Gilbert has us beaten just about everything. Wins. Uh, I think we have him in strikeouts, but he's got us an ERA by a good bit. Hit well, but playable. Escobar is there. Two down. And Jordan Alvarez steps up. He is one of the best hitters in the league. Maybe the best hitter in the league right now. I mean, crazy power from this guy. Look at his his last three seasons, man. He's already at th oh, 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 oh. he's already at thirty five home runs. He's on pace for a sixty home run season. My goodness, Jordan. Possible Hall of Fame resume he's putting together right now. I'd love to see a 50-plus home run season for him. That is absolutely destroyed. I'm not going to throw you inside again. 
Uh, this is a guy that has We've got a 2-2-2 two, two, two down. In that Good pitch. You fouled off. The Jordan's so hard to put away. That 99 power so intimidating. The curveball is inside. 3-2. We'll go cutter. Why not? If we walk him, we walk him. And a swing and a miss. And that's Sit down, big man. End of the first. Bottom of the second. And stepping in is All right. the speedy Jeremy Pena. Here's a strike. So, Jeremy Pena. Hitting in the four hole has developed into a very solid player for the team, even though he's solid in real life. He's a 92 overall. He's going to ground out here. One down. And here's former Royal Salvador Perez, who moved over and made room for Cam Jackson over there in Kansas City. And then... Finally, Inside corner for a strike. decided it was time to move on from Kansas City as Jackson was winning full on. <laughs> like, he won his first MVP. Maybe his only MVP, but he won an MVP last year. An absurd season for the catcher for the Royals. And so Salvi comes here, and he wins a championship. Which would you rather have? It's an interesting choice. I think he made the right decision because he's really helped this team win. Good changeup. Fun fact, it will be the show war is different than real life war. But they don't have all the factors in, uh, like outs above average and stuff like that. And Defensive run saves, so they go strictly off airs, which obviously is not the best tell. That's deep, shallow wall. It's gone. I didn't think it's going to get out, and then I remembered we're in Houston. Sure enough. Tag coming, man. So a two-out homer for Chaz McCormick. And Matt Chapman will step up. Might stick us above two again. It does. We're two o three. Pitch misses. It's two and one. We haven't checked out Taylor's career stats in a bit. And now two and two. After this batter, we'll go check him out. Two, two down. Good pitch. Just Oof. off the outside part of the plate. Up and in. Yeah, he four. takes ball four. So some two out trouble here for Taylor. Gives up the homer, then walks Chapman. Into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the Schreiber side of it. And that one hammered, and it's off the wall. Winker terribly played. The relay, and it's gonna score another one. Oh man, it's two two. The Astros hop on Chance or Taylor. Sorry, not Chance. You kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Not good. Pitch is in there. No balls, two strikes. Leon strikes out a lot, and he's going to Slide watch that one ball outside. one. Wish I had Adley pitch. catching me today. That one close, okay. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. We give up two, though. And this ball game is tied. We're not doing anything there. So, 2-2 uh, two, two ball game. And let's look into some uh, career stats. So, we're coming up on 100 starts. But uh, 35 and 24 is pretty solid. Over 500 innings and 728 strikeouts at 251 uh, career ERA. And a 19.2 award. That's pretty solid for a pitcher who's only 21 years old. 
first pitch just misses. Bermudez getting the start at Tell you second. What. Hitting lead off in today's Taylor is moving pretty fast in his in his aging. Mm. Already halfway through his age 21 season. He's not uh, he's not gone through any big injury. Knock on wood. That one missing inside. Melton. Please don't go through an injury. Three inches, twenty-five years old, and he was a second-round pick in twenty twenty-two. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes, and that drops in for a strike. That one fouled off. Two and two. The pitch. Foul ball left side, cutter. he'll see another. Tied up here in the early going. Still we are throwing good pitches to him. Ball. He refused to go down, so we'll go to the slider and see what we can get. A foul ball. Of course. The 2 2 again. It's a good one, and it's popped up. IKF chases it down. Two down. Two away. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one. Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Chris Alvarez has turned into one of the best young hitters, maybe one of the best hitters. And now this one's a Ooh, rocket to hey. way back there. That oh. ball was pissed on. And the Astros have taken the top off of Taylor Brooks shot. here. The There's number 36. Three, two. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside. Skip pass. that and move on. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Sure to wish we had Adley catching us. Next offering is in for a strike. Not that that's everything with our struggle, but it's part of it for sure. There's a strike. The 2 2, the curveball. Got him. We give up another one, though, as Jordan takes us 4 33. The offense has gone silent for three innings. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Chris Salvi had Tommy John surgery. It seems like more and more position players are having Tommy John surgery. Remember, Corey Seeger had it, Didi Gregorius. Travis Darno, just to name a few. Yeah, he bounced back pretty well from it. He became the comeback player of the year in 2020. Mm. The second Royals player to win that award. The other one was Mike Mostakis, his former teammate back in 2017. And the pitch. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Yeah, we got no one here. And the 2-2. Two, two. And another mm. ball. I can't put him away. I'm going back to the slider. I want to swing and miss on this. So three, two we walk him. Off the outside edge and that is Sometimes you don't have your stuff. And that's how it's going right now for Taylor. He can't find the zone. McCormick takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And now two and nothing. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten two, one. up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside play. Cormick took a steep last time. And yeah, there's a ball. Reds aboard here at first with nobody out. Great pitch, the three two. It's hit well, deep left field, and Winker's under it. One down. And out number one on the grab. Now 
now it's Matt Chapman. The walk and right, Matt. The scored his first time. Good change up. In there, own one. And that's a great own take one. right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation, runner on first base, you one, want to keep and it's 0-2. Oh, and you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Back to the mound. Up the middle, it's a two-out hit, or a one-out hit, and we've got two on, one down. At this point, you're looking at just a tough start from Taylor. Get him through this inning and see where we can go from there. Popped out, and it'll be Winker on the deep fly out. Nobody's moving. He's not very fast. And with Salvi running... To hit for Houston, Pedro Leon. We might be able to throw Start him out on a hit. Held up. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. One one. A big in or a big question mark here right of getting the nine deals. hole. Foul and that's a bad pitch. Up and in. Got him. We take him down again. And in a huge way, Taylor gets out of that inning. And we'll throw fifth. Let's end our outing in a good light. At least throw five. In there at the knees for a strike. The one one is fouled off. And the Indians. one two from Taylor. Ah. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Two two now. And a good eye okay. there. Try the slider, I guess. Good pitch. We got Bermudez again. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Melton one stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing. The 0-1 to Melton, who's 0 for 2 today. He swings Felt off. One off. The 0-2. Huh. Line drive. And that kind of man is going to be a double, and, a double. and maybe a triple as he throws it away. Throw we got him! What a play by Thomas Seguis backing him up. And that's why you always go back up, because now we cover, then we tag out. How about that? Two down to Jordan Alvarez. You're not getting one. That you can take out to right again. You're getting three off speeds outside. Next offering misses, and now it's even one. Uh, not off speed, but I don't want him to pull one. Idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. Well, Alvarez took a seat last time. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And down on Could change up, dude. That ends the frame. All right. We can't put anything up. Brubaker comes in, gets a one, two, three. One, two, three on the O's. Walk, single, sack fly, and we tie it. Nice. Taylor is not in line for... Oh, well, we're going to lose. <laughs> and, yep, we lose it 5-3. to three. Taylor throws an interesting 5, giving up 3 earned, striking out 8. Uh, but then a late home run puts the Ast Astros back on top, and that is where we would sit and lose the game so we're 40 and 46 now back to last in the division 
as even the Yankees have passed us. Our next start, the New York Mets, uh, when the time comes. But for the time being, we have entered the sweepstakes for the Cy Young. We are in there, um, kind of. <laughs> uh, chances for running away with it. And Logan Gilbert's got us beat, I think. But we haven't beat on strikeouts, so I don't know. Adam Turner is in here for the uh, MVP, but this is going to go to Jordan, especially if he's playing the field, which he is sometimes. Bobby Witt's up there. He's a 95 man. He had a great year last year. He's having an even better one this time. Adam Turner, obviously insane. He's actually got the highest OPS out of anybody. It's because he's hitting 396, dude. That's absurd. Adam Turner has enjoyed great success in this series, and he's going to continue to for a while here. Good for him. He's going to win the batting title with ease. Um, rookie of the year is Tyler McDonough. Jacob Melton's the one with actual potential. And I thought we might have a chance at Gold Glove Pitcher, but now. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 121 in the books.